I need chapstick. Where's my chapstick? Hold on one moment. Today is Tuesday. This is going out on Thursday. So it is an acting video or anything to do with the acting industry. My business mindset videos come out on Mondays if you want to know. Product reviews sprinkled here and there if you want to know. But we're going to strip it back today. We are just going to talk and I want to talk to you about acting and what it really is like to be an actor. Um, I used to never call myself an actor. I used to get the whole imposter syndrome. I thought because I wasn't working on Neighbours or I wasn't, I didn't have a feature film under my belt or I didn't have, you know, I wasn't going on auditions every week. I just, just didn't feel comfortable with calling myself an actor. Not because I didn't think I put in the work. I was afraid of what people would think. I feel like a lot of creatives feel like this. I feel like they have to always feel like they need to justify what they do to people, whether it be family, friends, foes. It isn't until someone goes, oh, I saw you on a commercial. I know you were talking about, you know, you dabbled in acting. Let me get one thing straight. <laughs> Nobody dabbles in acting. Whether you think that you want to be an actor or if you think you can do this job, whether you're like, yeah, I like it, but there's no buts. I literally just got off a phone call with a friend and I was like, sometimes I've wished in the past that I could climb that corporate ladder, have a stable nine to five, know the income that I'm getting in, know that there's steps, that there's promotions, that there's, you know, know that there's a path ahead of me. With acting, it's not like that whatsoever. You don't know what path you're going on. You sometimes know you're in the correct path, but the only path is the acting path. A lot of people go on it and it kind of crisscrosses all over the place and you have no idea where you're being taken, what's being thrown at you. That is the acting path. And if that scares the shit out of you, again, shut this video off. <laughs> Now, I'm not saying this because I'm like, I, I'm so good because I have the traits that, you know, an actor needs to be successful. I honestly believe with my entire heart that if you have any reservations whatsoever about this job or this career path, do not do it. Only pick acting and if you believe in your heart, that is the exact thing that you have to do that if you need it more than you breathe. I literally said to my friend, I have thought about this many a times and then immediately I think I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I just can't. And it's not because it's not worthwhile or it's not a good career choice. Not, not about that at all. It's just acting is like my drug. I need to do it time that I feel most like myself which is funny because you're acting as other people but as Natalie Portman says you you, you get to discover facets 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 of yourself you are a person but you have so many different dimensions and I feel like with every character you can relate to something and if you can't relate to anything you find it such a struggle and you shouldn't be doing that character literally what Natalie Portman says in her masterclass the life of an actor. It's a hard one, I'm not gonna lie. It is super hard not knowing where the hell you're going, not knowing if you will ever be able to afford a mortgage or not knowing if you're gonna ever, you know, make it on a blockbuster film, you know. You can, and the only thing you can do as an actor is put your best foot forward each and every single day. Do something that you know will get you closer and closer and closer to your goal. The reality is that there's not enough acting jobs for the amount of actors that are out there. But again, there's not enough jobs for a lot of industries that are out there. They go through an interview process, but they do work on those skills by going to university or taking an internship or reading, writing, thinking, planning. As actors, it's all to do with being a human and learning human connection and being able to really connect with humans oh god it's hard and it feels hard to work on but there are things and i have said them in the past that you can do and achieve 
with little to no money that will make you a better actor. I have videos that what makes a good actor, six myths about actors, oh, what actors can do during this time, during quarantine. There are some things that we can do. And that's the thing, as an actor, you are on 24 seven. They say once the lights are off, they're off, like the whole theater lights, you can turn yourself off. It's not true. It is so not true. Maybe you can turn the smile down. Maybe you don't need the jazz hands. Maybe you can take the makeup off that's caked on your face every single night, but you can't turn off. An actor is a 24 seven job. Again, I have a whole thing on about hustle. Acting, people say you need a hustle to be an actor. And I'm not saying hustle till you're dead, but I am saying you do need to work constantly towards being an actor. Being an actor is being able to be open, vulnerable and present. And that also requires you to be so in tune with yourself that you should know when you need self care. You should know when you need a little bubble bath and a face mask or when you just need to plug out of, out of the world and not even feel the need to go on Instagram or you know have a social media cleanse. That's all part of being an actor because your instrument is your own body, it's your own emotions, it's your own psyche. If you don't keep those in check, if you end up getting a character that is a bit there, if you get what I mean, it's going to be super hard. You, you need to definitely know yourself before you take on a role and being able to get, like do it justice. I, you can find yourself through roles. That's, that is a thing. Like when you're starting off, you can, you, because you feel like you can go to a certain place or you can get there or you don't realize that when you think of this line, it triggers this memory. You really do learn about yourself, but keep learning about yourself when it doesn't have anything to do with the script, because that will truly help you connect with other people and characters and scripts and stories and whatever. And that's our job to storytell. We are storytellers. I'm sorry, but if, you, if you're gonna hang out with your hat at 5 p.m., like someone else out there is doing something, anything, even when it doesn't even look like acting. You are gonna, as I said, you're gonna come across haters. You're gonna come across people who just don't believe in you. They're doubters, use that as fire. Yes, as an actor, you're going to work for free sometimes. You're gonna do some pro bono work, love jobs, whatever. Whatever can buff up that showreel and get you that CV that will put you in the right doors with the right people, it sucks. <laughs> it does, but that's why I go back to my number one point, you have to love this. If you don't, it is not worth it. It's hard, it's a hard job, it's a hard industry, it's hard to not know what you're doing. I go back to that point because as an actor, you cannot have a full-time job. You can't say, sorry, taking sick leave, I have an audition tomorrow. Your employers won't understand. They're like, hang on, we employed you for our business. What are you doing for your business? Clearly this has nothing, this does not make our business tick, does not make the needle move. Hence why I made my own business, <laughs> honestly. A lot of people are like, what? Virtual assisting? Like, what is that? It's flexible because I know that I can make my own hours. I know I can take as many clients as I want. I know I can have less work sometimes if I have a gig or I have more work sometimes. That's the only work you can do or temp work. And the thing is with temp work and contract work is that it ends or can end suddenly. So that's why most actors have jobs where they are in hospitality or waiting tables or jobs where they can easily just, you know, quit at the a click of a button. The benefit is that you can quit at any time and, the and then the issue is that they can say they don't need you at any time. So I went to the American Musical and Dramatic Academy and my teacher, Dan Daly, he basically said, find jobs that you are willing to get fired for from or quit. But yeah, it's the waiting around. It can be hard. It can be very hard for people to just wait around and not know what's going on. And that is why I say, instead of feeling like you're waiting around,
put that energy towards working towards something instead. Um, I feel like the mindset shift can really help actors. You won't get paid that much. You, your, what's hard is that your friends will buy houses. They, especially at my age. So I'm hello. I'm turning 26 and on June the 25th this year and uh, 26 and living with her parents still. Now there's nothing wrong with living with parents. I have actually lived by myself before. I've lived out of home for a few years before. I lived overseas in America before and all that stuff. And even if you haven't and if you've just lived with your parents and you're 30 or whatever, up to you, whatever. But there is something where I have these huge ambitions to buy a house. I have a, you know, to have properties, to invest. You know, I have these other decisions that have nothing to do with my acting career. But I have to put my career first because if I don't do it, nobody else will. And it's hard to see your friends who... They're buying houses or they're moving out or they have an abundance of money to go to Europe. I mean, obviously not at this current time, but usually, you know, people are traveling, people are, have other goals, they have other ideals, they, something that you can achieve when you have four weeks of annual leave. <laughs> you have to be in the country to be able to do the auditions. I'm not saying never go on a holiday, I've obviously gone on holidays, and but I reckon when I do go on holidays I will tell my agent where I am so that they can get me auditions in that country or that city or wherever. So again, it's not really a holiday, it's still working, making networks, creating connections, always being on. But, you know, your other friends are kicking goals that you want to kick as well, but it's just, it will take you a bit longer because of the financial strains. What I do believe is that there's no such thing as a starving actor. I don't, I think that's just an excuse now. We are in an era where technology has advanced so much that you can pick up a laptop and you can write blog posts for people. There's so many jobs that you could do on your phone, on your laptop, that you can take with you. But that is why I'm on YouTube as well. It is to help you guys, clarify for you guys. I've experienced things, so obviously I want to tell you more about them. I would love to hear a lot about you guys and where you are in your acting journey and what you want to hear from me. If you need any tips on anything, I do not do tricks because I don't believe that there's a hack into acting. I believe it takes hard work, dedication and perseverance. I believe so you have to be resilient. I want to reach out to you and ask, what do you want to see as my acting community, as creatives? You don't even have to be actors, musicians, whatever, dancers. Did you know I used to full-time dance? Yeah, got stories about that too. It's just, yeah, I, I, in this video, I really wanted to capture the life of an actor, things that you should know before deciding to become an actor. This is the things you should know before deciding to become an actor because it is a hard life, but it is a satisfying life when you are on set playing a character of your dreams, when you get to meet people that are like-minded, that you can connect with, that you get. So if that does sound like it's right up your alley, then trust me and really go for it. You can succeed in this career. Don't let those people, parents, friends, foes, whoever, don't let them cut you down because they were too scared to do something out of the norm. Cool. Well, I hope you liked this style of video. It was very just chill, whatever. Um, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.